Thank you for staying with us on NTV at 1. Two Kenya Defense Force officers who perished in a plane crash in Kajado last month have been laid to rest in Bungoma. One officer was buried on Tuesday, while the second one got a 21-gun salute send-off yesterday. Zakias Masame with more. The two officers were eulogized as patriotic citizens who were determined not only to serve the force but protect the entire country. For six-year-old Sergeant Noah Wanyonyi, who was a communication specialist, was laid to rest at his Kambini home in Kimilili constituency. Because, I mean, in the head, he was a hero, he was a protector, he encouraged, he was an enforcer. Dad, see the issue of Kimiki Boko? He had a bad idea, 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 he had a bad idea. It is with deep sorrow that I, on behalf of my abbess fraternity and on my own behalf, send our heartfelt condolences and sympathy to you and members of the entire family following the untimely demise of your beloved husband. The late senior sergeant Noa Nyonyi Minyalo was enlisted into the Kenya Defense Forces on 18th July 1994 and underwent his basic military course training at recruit training school in Eldoret. <laughs> Stephen O'Malley was on the other hand buried at Chebukwabi village in Kimilili, the two officers were eulogized by hundreds of mourners who unfortunately failed to follow the COVID-19 protocols in what has been described by locals as a heroic send-off. The plane crash led to the death of 11 KDF officers as cause of other sustained injuries. Zakis Masame, NTV, Bungoma.